Welcome to my channel, Avid Retro. In this video, I've got a semi-retro device here. It's a Huari P20 Lite, and it's unfortunately locked. So it has the Google FRP lock on it. And it's from, I think, 2018 or 2019. Got a um, broken screen as well, but it shouldn't stop me from trying to um, have a look at this. Now, when I first powered this on, it went into the standard kind of Android startup and it had a pattern appeared on the screen from the previous owner. So unfortunately, unable to do anything there. What I did do was try to reset it. So that's the first thing that I did is try to reset the, the phone, which obviously removes the user data. But fortunately, it still is locked. It's still coming up, um, the fact that it's locked to a Google account. So this is kind of where I am at the moment. So it all looks, all looks good here. So you can sort of say, get started. I'll do United Kingdom. I'll select various things. Wants me to connect to network, which I've already done. And then it does this. And you get this unlock pattern. Um, you can say you want to use the user account instead. So I have tried this. So you add in your account, your Google account, um, and it will just say that it's not applicable to this phone so that that's a non-starter. So to go into the recovery menu where you can reset the phone you have to press the up volume and the power at the same time. Keep those buttons pressed in. So that's the menu that you're faced with. I did this wipe data factory reset, which brought me to the state that you saw previously. So not much to gain there. Um, restart and then hold the down button of the volume. There you go. So First things first, it's phone locked, which means it's got a lock bootloader, an F FRP lock. So I'm not going to be able to do very much until I start kind of hacking it. Um, and unfortunately on these phones, you do have to take the back off to kind of get it into like a test point mode. So using my wife's trusty hairdryer, which is one of these hefty, very hot ones, I'm going to try to mount the glue now in the back of this. So bear with me. You will need an industrial <laughs> sort of a sucker. This is a, one of these grabbers glass. Oh, it's coming off a lot easier than I thought. Perhaps it's been taken apart already. Anyway, you'll be a bit careful here because there's a fingerprint sensor. So I think here I'm just going to attempt to unscrew it. It does look like someone has been in here before. I don't think this is the original sticky on it. Yeah, so the original, I would have thought the original um, sticky is black. And it takes a little bit of time to 
take the back cover off. So this has definitely come off before. Anyway, keep that to one side. So you've got several dots on here. There's one at the top on the left side. So I'll just show you. That's like a test point. It needs to be grounded with the chassis. And while you're doing that, you should be able to unlock the bootloader. I need to start this machine in a different mode. So I'm gonna go shift power, restart. And then that gives me some extra options here and I'm going to go into these startup settings and I'm going to restart and I'll show you which one I'm going to choose. It's going to be the one with the driver. So I want to basically disable driver signature enforcement so I'm going to press 7. I've already installed the drivers for this. I'll load up device manager shortly. I'm using a dedicated PC that's not connected to the internet. Or I should say it is connected to the internet, but it has nothing on there of value. Because when you're messing about with different software packages, you've probably introduced some viruses and whatnot to your machine. So you really want this separate to anything else. Um, so let's just have a look in here at ports. Okay, Intel, etc, etc. So I'll just leave that on the screen. I'm just going to now try to... Get this to do its thing by shorting it. So it's already plugged into the computer. And there it is. It's come into it here. So can you see it's now saying Huawei USB COM1. And you can see it's discovered it in here. I'm just going to select everything, why not? Um, and it's a 65XA for this phone. So I'm just going to start now. So that's worth me taking a, um, a screenshot of, I think. So I'm just going to print the screen. Or have I got? I should have the snip tool, shouldn't I? Yeah, and just start it again in that mode and just see what it says with the key held down again. There we go. So the phone's unlocked now, the bootloader. All I've got now is the FRP lock to sort out. So how do we do that? Okay. I'm going to try this now. So this is fast boot. Raise FRP. Now it's in fast boot mode now, which is good. Let's uh, let's hit that and see what that does. Said it's raised it. Okay, this this comes up once you've unlocked the bootloader. You get this message.
Okay, I'm going to sign in with my account now. So while you're in here, and uh, it's kind of taken everything, which is good, you want to go about phone, and then just enable developer options, yeah? So that's 910355, that's the version, let's go developer options, and then let's have a look, screen lock, Enable OEM unlock. Let's just keep that USB debug in. Another good one to have. I think we're in. The main ones that you probably need this experiment will be this Hawari USB COM one driver so you'll need that and you'll also need the potato um, in V as well to unlock the bootloader 